Hello everyone, welcome to this part two of the COVID-19 series. So in this part two, we are going to have a Q&A session again with Dr. Tom George. So the topic mainly that we're going to concentrate in this uh, part two is if you're going to get infected by this virus, what are the precautions that we have to keep in mind? Plus few questions regarding what we are hearing recently, that is the black and yellow fungus. And uh, plus, if you have not watched uh, part one, part one was uh, regarding vaccines and how we can prevent the infection from infecting us. So if you have not watched part one, then I would mention the video link in the description box below. You can check it out. So in this part two, again, we are, uh, Dr. Tom George is going to join us for this Q&A session. So having said that, let's get right ahead with the video. So again, today, uh, Dr. Tom George is going to join us. So uh, welcome, Dr. Tom George, once again to this episode of The Charm Hub. So in our part one, we had a Q&A session regarding how we can prevent this virus. So in this part two, we're going to have again a Q&A session regarding how, if you're going to get infected, the steps and precautions that we have to take. So moving ahead, yes, uh, let's start with the first question itself. Now, the first question is, yes, the most important question, how do we know that somebody has been infected by COVID-19? The common symptoms are tiredness, dry cough, and fever. The less common symptoms are sore throat, headache, diarrhea, conjunctivitis, and in some cases, on rashes on the skin. Serious symptoms are shortness of breath and uh, difficulty in breathing. It may take up to four to five days for these uh, symptoms to show up. In some cases, it may be even 14 days. Once uh, you get uh, some of these uh, symptoms, you should go and uh, test for COVID-19. Yes, so as Dr. Tom George has uh, said, uh, he has uh, answered this question in a very wonderful way. That is uh, the common symptoms, the less common symptoms and the severe symptoms. So if you're going to get any suspicious about any of these symptoms, yes, it can be either, it can even take four to even 14 days. So if you get suspicious of that you have any of these symptoms, then yes, get your COVID-19 test done as soon as possible. So moving ahead uh, to the next question. So the next question is, now what are the tests to be done to confirm if uh, we have or uh, somebody has coronavirus infection? The gold standard for uh, COVID-19 test is called uh, RT-PCR, reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction. And uh, there is a rapid test as well, but its uh, accuracy is sometimes questionable. So if possible, always go only for RT-PCR test. Okay, so RT-PCR test is the test that we have to go ahead with for the accurate, um, accurate result of this COVID-19 virus. Now, we're moving ahead. Uh, now, what should be done if we get infected with COVID-19? The precautions, the steps that have to be taken when we are getting infected with COVID-19. Once COVID-19 is confirmed, First of all, don't get panicked. Isolate immediately and uh, notify authorities. Wear a mask even at home. Keep social distancing. Monitor your temperature and oxygen saturation percentage often. Take rest, eat well, sleep well. Take advice from health workers and uh, follow up with them. If your oxygen percentage falls below 92%, call up a doctor and take his advice and follow up with it. If you have continuous fever and difficulty in breathing, then get hospitalized immediately. Yes, uh, so that was uh, given in a very brief and clear state uh, from step by step from a mild to a severe uh, reaction. So keep this in mind and take precautions accordingly at home or if uh, needed any, uh, uh, yes, if you have to get hospitalized then get it done as per the specifications. So having said that, let's move ahead with the next question. So the next question is, what are the important do's and don'ts after getting infected? 
As I said, the please don't get panicked. Take the advice only from qualified medical staff. Please don't resort to taking shortcut treatment methods that are described in social media. If the symptoms are indicative of a severe COVID-19 infection, then monitor the body and the most important thing to watch is the breathing. In case of breathing difficulties, please reach out to a doctor's clinic and follow their advice. Yes, so that's very important to keep in mind. Do not get panicked, but uh, see into things that what has to be done rather than that. So uh, yes, moving ahead. Now, what is oxygen dependency in a COVID-19 cases? And what should we do if somebody gets into that stage? If the oxygen saturation level goes below 92%, it's a red alert. Oxygen dependency happens when there is a severe inflammation in the lungs, so much that the lungs cannot exchange enough oxygen for the body. Such patients should be given oxygen supplementation even after uh, their recovery. Even after hospital discharge, they may still require oxygen supplementation until their oxygen level goes up to normalcy. So that's really important to keep in mind regarding this oxygen dependency. Now moving ahead, why did a lot of youngsters die in the second wave of corona pandemic? And why is youngsters getting affected most severely during this second wave? As per the Indian Council of Medical Research Chief, Dr. Belram Bhargava, it is not that this specific variant reported in India is specifically killing off a lot of young people, but rather this time around, a lot of young people got exposed to this highly infectious variant for different reasons. In the second wave, the death rate is so high, so much so high that uh, uh, it appears that a lot of uh, young people are being killed off by this virus. Okay, so that is another reason why, uh, yes, we had this myth that it actually uh, is affecting the youngsters. Uh, the second wave is actually affecting the youngsters, but this is the actual truth. Now, anyhow, moving ahead, um, what are the black fungus and yellow fungus infections that we are hearing recently? Black fungus or mucormycosis is the name of uh, complications arising from the infection of a type of uh, fungus present in the air. Most fatal infections are caused by a type called rhizopus. This is treated by a kind of uh, antifungal intravenous injection which is considered to be effective. Unchecked uh, level of uh, blood sugar, Abuse of uh, steroids during COVID treatment are considered to be the reason behind this outbreak now. Yellow fungus is just another kind of uh, fungus which is less dangerous than black fungus. Okay, so that was regarding the yellow and the black fungus. So uh, we have come to the end of our part uh, two. So we have answered the seven main questions of how if we get infected and what are the precautions and few points that we have to keep in mind regarding this COVID-19 virus. So once again, uh, thank you, Dr. Tom George, for joining us once again in this episode of The Chamha. So that was the end uh, of our Q&A session of the part two. So I hope that was helpful and informative. Actually, this was very informative regarding if we get infected, what are the precautions that we are supposed to take according to each step. So in part three, that is the follow-up video, the main topic we are going to concentrate is uh, the post-care, that is after getting recovered from an infection. What are the do's and the don'ts that we have to keep in mind? Plus other miscellaneous Q&As also we are going to uh, look ahead in part uh, three. So I hope that was helpful and informative. Share to the maximum that you can, as I've mentioned, even I'm trying my best to use my platform to bring the maximum awareness of all these uh, basic informations or even unknown informations. So I hope that was helpful and informative. If you find this a video helpful, then do not forget to like the video, to share the video, and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Just hit the icon that pops over here to subscribe. And also do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you would get notified every time I put up a new video. So see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.